The Falcons hosted Hillcrest in the Area Tournament Championship. On the line, the right to host the sub-state playoff game. In the early going, the Patriots matched Central basket for basket as a three-point duel between Falcon Joe Eatman and Patriot Michael Cook ensued. Central up by one. The pass to Cedric Norman and his pull-up jumper kisses glass. Now Norman spots a wide open Terry Cade inside for two more and Central's lead is seven. Off the Courtney Jeffries miss, Walter Gordy fighting hard for the rebound over two defenders for the bucket. A spectacular display of athleticism here as Anthony Wilson hangs in the air, gets the bucket and the foul. After three, Central clings to a six point lead, but this big dunk by Jeffries gets the crowd jacked and sends the Patriots packing. The Falcons are 6A Area 8 tournament champs. Making the original boys basketball action. And Walter Gordy was hot early for the Falcons. It's 2-0 Central. This time, he receives a great feed from Terry Cade. And Kansas, despite the foul. Courtney Jeffries gets the next Central bucket, even though he's fouled going back up. 6-4 Central, mid-first quarter. Walter Gordy going to get fouled again and hit again. He led Central with 16. His three-point play met at a 9-8 Falcons lead. Gordy had seven already. Falcons work it inside again as Derek Warren banks in two more. Central points right there. Coach Roby Butler and his staff have a battle on their hands with Daphne, though. They own a slim one-point lead after the first quarter. I think they should go inside to Walter Gordy for a turnaround, don't you? Yeah, I think that's what they should do. Gordy keeping Central in the game almost by himself. Time for Terry Cade to score. He had 10 for Central. He gets two more on this Falcon pass break. Final seconds of the first half. Central steals. Cedric Norman slams. But... He didn't beat the buzzer, Coach Butler. Hoping those two points won't be too costly to him. And they won without those two points. 52-38. Falcons are in the 6A Sweet 16 at the Southwest Regional in Mobile. Central at Davidson. Boys Regional Semifinal 6A. Central students showing their support. The team with their spirited huddle before they tip it off against Davidson. Now down 2-0, Joe Eatman gained the Falcons the lead. That's the first of his three threes in the game. Check out this sweet baseline drive by Cedric Norman. And he was fouled on the play. Cedric made it a three-point play. It's 6-2 Central. Time to go into Walter Gordy. It's 8-2 Falcons. After a Davidson deuce, Joe Eatman. And another three. Courtney Jeffries, tremendous on the boards. He had 18 rebounds. That, a 6A regional semifinal game record in history. Jeffries also blocked five Davidson shots. One right there. Falcons led 11-6 after one. Tavares McGee is about to fake this guy right off his feet and scores. That's in the beginning of some of the game, wouldn't you? Now watch the Joe Eatman pass to Walter Gordy. And Walter takes it to the hole for two of his seven. Walter plays bigger than his six foot three and a half inch height. But Davidson had a hot streak just like that. Central's big lead was gone. I think they need another Eatman three, don't you? Joe on target with the bomb. He was three of seven from beyond the arc. It was tied at 18 when Eatman hits this turnaround in close. Now 
Duncan's up by two. Here comes a beautiful play by DeBoris Lanier. Check out the shooting hand switcheroo in midair. Right there, Lanier had six in the game. Falcons left for the locker room with a 22-18 halftime lead. The game would stay close for a while. third quarter watch the putback by Cedric Norman Cedric had a real good game his buckets coming at key moments in the contest one of Derek Warren's five rebounds turns into two of his five points everybody helping out the Falcon cause Central continued to crash the boards getting second chance points Walter Gordy with the putback 28-25 Falcons I watch Derek Warren steal it and slam it through for two right here Falcons start to open it up. They lead by five. It's 30-25 after three. Early fourth quarter, Jaboris McGee hits Joe Eatman, who lays it in. Eatman led all scores with 18 points. Davidson was threatening to get back in it when Cedric Norman drove for the deuce. Another timely bucket by Cedric, 38-27. Falcons hit their free throws down the stretch. Jaboris Lanier got that one right there. Joe Eatman was five for six from the charity strike. And this Walter Gordy foul shot put Central up by 10 late in the game. Central wins 48-36 to advance to the regional final. They improve to 26 and one. We got to go to the Central boys in their regional semifinal contest. Double zero is Joe Eatman. And double zero, not an appropriate number for him. It should be a 1-8 on his back because he scored 18 points. He hit from outside. He hit from inside. Hit the threes. Hit the deuces. Also passed out some assists and got open for the easy lay in right there. Joe Eatman, this week's Athletes Foot Athlete of the Week, but not the only one. We're going to throw in another one of the Central Falcons, his teammate. As you see Joe also hitting five out of six from the free throw line. That was key. Courtney Jeffries. The big guy inside, he uh, was the key on the defensive end as he got five blocks in the game. You saw one there, and there's another one. He also pulled down a state record for a regional game, 18 rebounds. Without those 18 rebounds, Aitman wouldn't have had so many chances to shoot. So, because of that, Joe Aitman and Courtney Jeffries are Athletes Foot Athletes of the Week.